start the show with a fun recipe that is uh, also double duty. Mexican meatballs with a, a delicious chipotle dipping sauce make a, a fun hors d'oeuvre to start the party. And then we're going to turn those Mexican meatballs into a quick and easy Mexican meatball soup that is one of my kids' favorites. So the Mexican meatballs start with one pound of ground beef. You don't need to get the really, really lean stuff. I like a little bit of fat in that beef, maybe like an 80-20. Um, and you can certainly double this recipe, make extra meatballs and keep them in the freezer. So to the meatballs, I'm going to add some finely diced onion, about a quarter of a cup of finely diced onion, one egg, to bind it all together, some salt, about a half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, but who's measuring? I'm just going to give it a dash or two. Little dash or two of hot sauce. These aren't going to be real spicy. This is just going to give it some nice flavor. You could certainly make them spicy if you wanted. And the dipping sauce is going to have a little bit of a punch too. So um, that's where our, our uh, spice is going to come in. A little bit of dried oregano. If you have or can get a hold of Mexican oregano, that's fantastic. But if you just have the regular oregano, that'll work uh, fine too. Oregano is one of those things that I think people think of uh, Italian cooking. Uh, you know, uh, the, it's usually the spice that's in a lot of spaghetti sauces and on pizza and things like that. Um, but to be honest with you, um, a lot of Mexican cooking has oregano in it. So yeah, we um, actually were able to find Mexican oregano very, very easily. So you should be able to find it too, but whatever kind of oregano you have in your, in your pantry, that'll work out just fine. We're going to do some breadcrumbs, and I always start with a little. You can always add more. I really want this to be about the meat uh, and, and less about, you know, the, the binder. And then a quarter of a cup of milk. And I kind of just do a little milk at a time, too. And we love, love, love our lamers milk. I'm using whole milk, but any type of milk that you had would work fine for this recipe. So I'm just, you know, the best way to do meatballs. Oh, I forgot the black pepper. I thought, well, there's got to be pepper in here. Yes, yeah, salt and pepper. And then our final ingredient is some fresh chopped cilantro. If you don't like the cilantro, you could leave it out or you could do flat leaf parsley. I happen to love it. It really is nice in these meatballs. Normally in Italian meatballs, I'll put some fresh chopped parsley. So this is kind of the same thing. We're taking my classic regular meatball recipe and just giving it a Mexican twist. You could certainly add some fresh garlic in here if you wanted to, but I wanted to keep this pretty simple. We love Mexican food at our house. And even if you're not having a party, it's just kind of like a, a party at your dinner table doing some fresh different flavors and different recipes. You know they sell more salsa than ketchup? People are really getting into Mexican and Southwestern food. That's why you see all these um, more and more uh, chain restaurants popping up with a Southwest Mexican flair. They're a really huge growing in, in trend and all over the country because we're really liking that those Mexican flavors. Okay, so in goes our cilantro. And the best way to get in there with meatballs is just to have clean hands. I can always add some more breadcrumbs. I can add some more milk if I need to. I don't like tough, dry meatballs, so I like to keep them pretty moist. But I can tell that these are going to need a little bit more. So I'm mixing and rolling our meatballs, and we're going to do pretty small ones because I want them to be more of an appetizer size, and then they're also going to go in this Mexican meatball soup. Um, but it's up to you what size you want to make them. Co for cocktail size, I like to think about, you know, people just be able to take one, maybe two bites, or just, you know, be able to pick it with a toothpick, uh, toothpick and make it very easy to eat. This is a perfect consistency. I added enough breadcrumbs just to bind it together but 
I really want this to be about the flavors of the meat and the cilantro and the spices. So, okay, did you dive into our book club book this weekend? I sure hope you did. If you didn't, don't worry. There is still time. We are reading a really fun book. Um, it's very inspirational, great story. It's a quick read. It's not one of those big, thick, thick books. Um, it's a nice size book, and it's called Girl in Translation. So go get the book or get it on your Kindle or your Nook and call today to reserve your spot. We're headed to a really neat, a relatively new place in Swamico called The Bottle Room. And it's a wine bar, they serve food. So they're gonna provide all sorts of complimentary munchies and appetizers, and then we can just purchase our beverages. And we're meeting there 5.30, May 14th. It's a Tuesday night. So call to reserve your spot. We just wanna make sure that we know how many people are coming and we've got enough food for everybody, and it's just great fun. Go get the book, read along. You've got a good, well, it's May 4th, so you've got 10 days to dive into May 5th. You've got nine days. You can read this in nine days. Not a problem. I read it on vacation, and I had it done in about a day, day and a half. It was that quick of a read, and I just couldn't put it down, actually. It was that good of a book. Uh, while I'm rolling my meatballs, the other thing that's coming up is our next big night out, which I am so excited about. We are headed to a new uh, Appleton area restaurant that's getting rave reviews. It's one of those, <coughs> excuse me, just a tickle in my throat. I'm not sick at all. One of those um, farm to table restaurants, which are gaining in popularity all over the country. And thank you, Ann, for some water. Anyway, it's called Gather Americana. And they have put together a five course meal Paired with wines, or if you prefer, prefer, they will pair them with different beer. Uh, it's surf and turf, halibut, steak, a great soup, salad, and of course dessert. It's going to be a lovely, lovely evening, all at an amazing price, fifty dollars per person. Um, so just this is going to be sell out very, very quickly. Please call today to reserve your spot. We're headed there May twentieth, um, so it's going to be a ton of fun. <coughs> Excuse me again. I'm going to give my hands a wash. These bake up pretty quickly, these meatballs, because they're tiny. Uh, I do them at, uh, what was the oven temperature we did them at? About 400. Um, being that it's meat, we wanted to, you know, get it a little brown, nice and brown. And they take anywhere between 12 and 20 minutes. So the minute they're brown. And you notice how you're gonna, there was quite a bit of meat left. So I could have kept rolling meatballs, but I wanted to get onto the dipping sauce of this recipe. But you want to put these on a, a relatively large or baking sheet or even two because you don't want to overcrowd them. You see the space I've left in between? If they were right next to each other, they wouldn't be able to brown as nicely. So really space them out on your baking sheet, pop them into the oven, and extras freeze. Meatballs freeze fantastically once they're baked. So you can just pop them into a Ziploc bag or a container, and then you can just reheat them in the microwave. So I always make plenty of meatballs. Leftovers in my book are a good thing. Okay, quick uh, dipping sauce that we're going to make to go with these meatballs. And by the way, here are our meatballs. We just popped them out of the oven, and they are delicious. Whenever I make meatballs for appetizers, they're just the first thing to go. They're gonna have that nice hint of cilantro in there. So this is completely optional. You could serve those meatballs as is, but I really like to do some sort of a dipping sauce. So this is, these are a chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. They are fantastic. They're spicy as all get out, but they pack a ton of flavor, uh, like a wonderful smoky flavor. You'll find this right at the grocery store. Um, you don't have to go to a specialty food store, right in the Mexican aisle of the grocery store with all the other great Mexican ingredients, real easy to find. And you're gonna have a whole can of them. By golly, do not dump this whole can in or use it at the same time unless you were uh, really feeding a ton of people because these things pack more punch than you can imagine. So we're gonna do one to two. We'll start out with one. Well, all right, we're feeling a little we're feeling a little naughty today, a little festive. Maybe we'll do two. And then some of the sauce. The sauce is oh my gosh, and I love this smell the sauce. Smell the sauce. It is so good. So the but peppers really pack the heat. The sauce is more uh, flavor. Smell that sauce. It is I'm gonna make her smell that sauce. It is so yummy. It's like a smoky, delicious thing. The rest, so what do you do with the rest of the chipotles and adobo sauce? 
freeze them if you're not going to use them. Just put them in a Ziploc bag, freeze them, use them for recipes down the road. Um, they, they'll last great in your freezer um, and you, you've got a whole lot of that can left. So now I'm going to add some sour cream and a little bit of heavy cream just to thin it out a little bit so it's not a real thick dipping sauce and we love our Lamer's heavy cream. I'm doing this in the food processor. You could certainly do it in the blender. Oh, salt and pepper. Just a pinch. Don't need any hot sauce. This is going to be plenty hot enough. This is yummy stuff. Hmm, how thick are we here? Say we may add a little more heavy cream. I'm going to thin it out just a little bit and show you how we serve it with the, the, the meatballs. This is just a delicious, delicious dip. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Recipes on the website, by the way. Coming up, we're going to show you another thing to do with the meatballs, a Mexican meatball soup. We'll take these same meatballs and turn it into a quick and easy soup that you can throw together in no time. So we'll be back. Stay with us.